Hello, I am Devin Olson, and thank you for joining me on my video series Installing and Configuring IBM Lotus Traveler on IBM Lotus Domino on CentOS 6. Um, well, this is the part 5, uh, actually installing Traveler. In our last video series, up to now, we've um, configured our, our operating system, we've prepped prep for Domino, we've got Domino installed and we've got Domino up and running. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install Traveler in this video. Uh, the first thing to do when installing Traveler, if Traveler is to shut down the Domino server if it's already running. And then uh, while that's shutting down, let's go ahead and open up a terminal and let's um, change to our install directory and change to our Traveler directory. And there's our Traveler directory uh, and the contents therein. Again, as a reminder on um, this particular environment, um, tar files, archives and such are in red and uh, directories are in blue and executable and data files are in that bright green. So we want to go ahead and run the Traveler setup. We can't do that right now as the notes user. So as a reminder, once again, we're going to change to the to the root user using the super user command. So let's go ahead and do that. Put in the password. And there we go. So I want to run Traveler Setup. And again, because it's Linux, we can't just run Traveler Setup. We have to uh, use the dot slash, which basically says start from here and run this. A V E L E R S E T U P. Traveler Setup is going to fire up and do its thing. One thing about Traveler setup um, in Linux is it's really easy. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. We're just going to walk through this. It's, it's fairly simple. Uh, the Traveler setup for Linux is, is exceptionally easy, and it's come a long, long way. I don't need to view the information site. I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the, accept the agreement, hit Next. Installing multiple partitions. If you've been following me along in this series, you know that we did not install multiple partitions on this Domino server, so therefore we don't want to install multiple partitions for Traveler. If I did, then I, you know, if I hadn't done so, then I could make a decision here, but realistically, right now, this is an absolute no. We're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to take the, take the defaults for the program directory and the data directory. Go ahead and hit next. And here's the username and group, and this is what it needs to know is the default Linux username that we're going to run this under which context we're going to run is obviously it's going to be notes. Um, something interesting, see this one here? That's the, the numeric ID that was assigned to that user. Um, that's not quite right, and we didn't want root, obviously. We want notes, so it's the notes username and the notes uh, group name. going to go ahead and hit next again. Okay, here's a configuration option. Do I want to set the home page as default uh, for website for this server? Because this is a Traveler server, I'm going to choose yes. The user homepage, it's useful starting place. Uh, status information, client software, user management stuff. Basically, everything they're going to need for Traveler is available right here. So we're going to set that. And then right down here, kind of, it's nice. It gives us the, the, the access, the URL to access it and it's http colon slash slash the host name whatever the host name is slash servlet l-e-t s-e-r-v-l-e-t there's no e in there uh, slash traveler I'm gonna go ahead and hit next okay uh, we're happy with that this is just a kind of review I can go back and make changes if I wanted to I don't want to I'm gonna hit install and let it do its thing and um, as I said before it's 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 quite easy and it's surprisingly fast it's it's surprisingly simple it's it's pretty much you know this is pretty much it there's not much to do it just it's wonderful software in that it just flipping works so I'm gonna go ahead and hit done I don't need to view the information site I don't really care I'm gonna go ahead and hit done now um, right here see how we're back here and it says launching installer you're gonna sit here for a few seconds and you're gonna sit here um, as with the install of the Domino server, you're going to sit here just long enough to get start feeling uncomfortable that something has locked up. Don't worry, 
boom. It'll go, it'll go clear after a few seconds. It's just long enough to make you uncomfortable, but it's fine. So at this point, um, I'm going to go ahead and exit out as root, and I'm going to go ahead and exit out as notes, and I'm just going to restart the Domino server and um, bring that back up. And while the Domino server is starting, we're going to see a couple of things will, will begin going on here. Uh, it will start the HTTP server, and then the Traveler task is going to come in and kill the HTTP server and make it restart so that it can restart properly. Uh, you'll see that in just a second here. And there we go. So the HTTP server task started, and then the Lotus Traveler kicked in and said, no, we need to restart that so that we can re -get it, reload ourselves and, and get going properly. Uh, Xpages uh, command manager started HTTP server task shutting down. Lotus Traveler is starting things back up. Here comes the HTTP server back up. So far, we're pretty pretty good. So um, <clears throat> here's the rest of the stuff. The, the the servlets Traveler stuff is loading. I'm pretty happy. So Traveler's up and running, and um, I'm firing up a browser at the moment now because this is on a VM. And because this is a demo environment, and because it's it's kind of protected and shelled and locked in place, I can't access this externally via URL because, again, this is purely demo. In your environment, obviously, if you've set this up, you should be able to uh, have a, a, a publicly accessible or even a privately accessible URL to which you can access your machine and your installation so that you can direct your your iPhone or your Android device to that location. I can't do that from here, but what I can do is go take a look. So I'm going to go uh, localhost, and if you remember, oops, HTTP, I'll just go there. Yeah, there, localhost. And if you remember from our little instructions, it was localhost slash servlet, servlet S-E-R-V, no E, just S-E-R-V-L-E-T slash traveler. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and boom! Okay, now this is the authentication. I need to authenticate with the user that's allowed to do this, and if you recall from our installation and configuration, we only created one user, and that was me. And I typed, I forgot O-N when I did it initially, so uh, let's put my password in, D-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, -S -S and let's see what happens. And do I want Firefox to remember that? Yeah, let's go ahead and remember. Look at this. Here's my user status. Lotus Notes Traveler Server is available. I have no devices to synchronize or to configure, but the point being, Traveler is installed and running on this machine. Cake. Very, very easy. I'm really happy with this installation and configuration. Um, that pretty much concludes this video series. Um, once again, I'm Devin Olson. And I thank you very, very much for joining me. Bye-bye.